And welcome back, folks, to yet another exciting episode of Fallout 3. We are next to Rivet City now, where they need some help with their water deliveries. Hello. Hello. Back off. I'm not looking for any trouble. Yeah, you got trouble. You got trouble. Yeah, no. I brought a microwave emitter because I figured, why not use it? Now that we have alien epoxy, we can just repair it if we need to. Water caravan check in okay so this is one of those caravans eh come on if you're not gonna use them not gonna move them then remove those barrels that's just animal cruelty yeah whatever how are you doing caravan driver sit down grab a beer it's free cool well there's a beer can't beat free booze. I was gonna drive my Brahmin up that way anyway. That Rivet City chick's giving me an escort to boot. Yeah, everybody's profiting from this in some fashion. This is a good thing. Corporation and all that jazz. Alright, I'm gonna take... Oh, no, these are all empty. And also, I'm not allowed to interact with them. There's another hard one. Can I... I wonder... There's probably nothing in here either. Remember the one by the uh, Project Purity by the Jefferson Memorial? I don't know why, but it was locked and there was nothing in it. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna waste some bulby pins on an empty box. What of it? I want to know what's inside. Air! Awesome! I got air. Great, thank you. Okay here. Right. Now here's a check-in. And that must be Le Pelletier. I think that's how you pronounce that. Looks like she has a plasma rifle. Cool. I don't think I saw her before. You won't get away with that. She also has rings under her eyes, kinda like Bigsley. I think this is taking a toll on everybody. Oh. What? You're not even giving the poor water bum up there water. He's sitting right next to you. Maybe I can talk to him about getting some aqua pura. You've helped me so much. It seems wrong to ask, but can you spare any more water? The brother is giving away aqua pura. Why don't you drink that? Giving it away only to certain people. And those people aren't giving it to me. Ah, oh, damn it. If I get my hands on Aqua Pura, I'm gonna give you a bottle. Or two. Oh, I don't know how many. Uh, that's pretty messed up. He's sitting right next to one of the water deliver delivery sites and he doesn't get anything. You're messed up, Le Pelletier. Good to see you. Right. If you're here looking for water, I'm afraid I can't help you. All the water is at Project Purity. If you want a handout, Head over to the Jefferson Memorial and ask for Scribe Bigsley. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy coordinating military operations. Do I look like a water beggar? Uh, thought Rivet City was a police force, not a military organization. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's enough trouble just keeping the miscreants on that leaky boat under control. But the Brotherhood needs help delivering all that water. But I'm not getting the support I need. Right. There's been an increase in attacks on the caravan, and they don't seem random anymore. To make matters worse, I'm running out of resources, and I'm down to my greenest men. What? All your people, all your veterans got killed already? That's awful. Uh, sounds like you need some help. What do you need? Great. I can really use a strong arm on this one. I need you to escort a caravan from Project Purity to Canterbury Commons. Fine. If, or rather, when they get ambushed, I need you to figure out who's behind the attack. You sound pretty certain that this particular caravan will be attacked. I'm pretty certain any caravan will be attacked. This particular caravan also happens to have my most junior men escorting it. They could really use someone with Wasteland experience leading the team. She's a bit of a smart ass, isn't she? Uh, so if we get attacked and I find the ringleader, then what? 
After protecting the caravan, track down the attacker's base of operations and put an end to it once and for all. Right. Pretty simple, at least on the face of it. All right, I'll protect the caravan and track down the attackers. Great. I had a feeling you would. Officers Davis and Lauren should have just left Project Purity. If you hurry, you'll catch them. Their course hugs the river closely. If you head north, following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry. <laughs> they will be very happy to hear that you called them uh, your greenest people. So, okay. Um, 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 what does River City get out of helping the Brotherhood in this whole distribution thing? At first it was a win-win. They paid us and shared their technology with us. Ah. The spoils of their war with the Enclave were particularly enticing. However, with all the recent attacks, the extra resources end up being used just protecting the caravans from being exterminated. Right, so that's why you got a plasma rifle there. Okay. Well, time for me to go. Later. Right. Can't even ask her about that, about Carlos. Well, we'll help him at some point, hopefully. Right, so, where are we supposed to go? Uh, we are meant to try and catch up to them. Actually, if I just head to Dukov's place, I can probably catch them out. Yeah, that should work. It's, it's closer than heading to Project Purity. So let's go there now. Ah, oh, I thought so. There's an enclave there. And they haven't learned a thing. Still fighting death claws, I see. Well, time to microwave somebody. Whoa, that's... Wow. It works. Can't complain about that. Okay, that car won't explode, so there's no point in... Attacking it. Yeah, we are gonna have to deal with the Enclave before we can move on. Whoa! This is actually pretty powerful. I like it. We'll be ready to assist the... Uh oh. The water caravan in no time at this rate. Ah, crippled you. Oh no, it's a rad roach. Can barely actually I can barely aim this gun. Because it's kind of Because it covers the entire uh, crosshairs, it's kind of hard to aim this thing. Also, yes, I did that on purpose. I wanted to blow the car up so that he would suffer some damage. There we go. Stupid little creature. Alright. Good, 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 good. Everything's alright. We are making progress. Fix that thing. Again, I don't think... Uh, I think the only other weapon that you could use, if you wanted to, to repair the uh, microwave emitter with, would be the uh, the mesmetron, which is itself also a unique weapon. So why would you ever want to do that? Instead, just use alien epoxy. Also, I'm gonna talk to Dukov. Just really quickly, I, I want to know how he feels about... Uh, okay. About the fact that I took Cherry away from him? Where the hell is he? Oh, is he on the toilet? No. Guess he's above. No, I never really checked his place out. Not thoroughly, at least. I think I was upstairs. Either. Hmm. 
Yeah, his liver is probably already on strike. Why do you sleep here alone? That's what I don't get. Maybe his girls never were quite as happy to put out as he said they were. Right, let's steal that quantum. Didn't even know there was some. Uh, anything else around here? Well, some chems, I suppose, but nothing important. Eh, of course, more alcohol. Um, let's talk to the guy. Hey, clown shoes. I remember what you did. What? What are you talking about? Hey, it's my favorite wanker. I am so fucking glad I talked you out of putting a bullet in my brain. <laughs> right, um, okay. Guess I, he doesn't really care that Cherry is gone. Well, better leave then. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, clown shoes. <laughs> right. What you need? How about a drink? No? Suit yourself. I need to go, dude. Alright. I wasted way too much time already. Uh, let's try to catch up to the uh, water caravan. I kind of thought they would have been here by now. I mean, I did fight the Enclave and they were on the move, supposedly. But maybe they're being held up. Right. Oh, right. There's also a raider camp up ahead, isn't there? Kind of a stupid route to take for their caravan, too. Right next to a raider camp. Oh, well. Yeah, I can't hit- I can't aim this weapon, I'm sorry. I have to rely on... Whoa. I have to rely on vats for that, because it's just too... too chaotic, really. Do I even want any of that stuff? Look at this. Aiming this weapon is completely impossible. Maybe I just suck at it, but who knows. Alright, I'll take those cigarettes of yours. I'll leave the whole crappy rest behind. Right, uh, we're coming close from the looks of it. Yeah. Wait, we already have enemy contacts there. That's just bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. It looks like everybody's already dead. Bandits? Okay, these are not regular raiders then. Right. Well, we've come too late, clearly. New meeting place. Okay. Guess we got a note. This might help. Scavenger, yeah, totally dead. Tons of stuff on him, though. This is interesting. Officer Davis is dead. This is bad. And Lauren is also dead. Great! Our first assignment, and it's completely gone bonkers. Right from the outset. And also, there's another guy here. Yeah, the caravan. Another caravan driver, is that the idea? No. No, they killed a scavenger who all the stuff belongs to. Oh man, he didn't have anything to do with this. They, they just murdered him. Right. Let's uh, repair some stuff just so that we can actually walk. That would be nice. Metal armor. They both wore metal armor like it's some sort of sign or signature for them. Rivet City. Roving Trader. Yeah, sure. We'll use those. Well, I'm really overburdened just from all this crap alone. And the flamers, of course. Yeah, they bring their samurai sword and the victory rifle. Figured. 
might be useful at long and melee range, respect, respectively. Whereas the uh, ooh, aqua pure, let's drink some. Hmm, tasty. Honestly, beer is not really worth anything anymore. Because it's not, it doesn't have any value. You know, it's just two caps per bottle. And, uh, huh. I don't really need its effect, so screw it. Right, um, now, they were both wearing those metal armors. Guess we can check those out at least. Oh, here's a third guy with metal armor even. Okay. Clearly this is some si some sort of uniform they're wearing. Improvised as it may be. Alright, I think we'll, we'll try the following. Um, yeah, I'll get my samurai sword out. We'll equip the metal armor. What does this look like? Really crappy. I really hate the metal armor helmet. It just doesn't fit at all with the metal armor, I think. Looks really silly. Okay, so what is this new meeting place that we got notes about? Hi, I'm Split Jack. I'm recording this because I figure half you idiots can't read for shit. Right. But you best don't lay this tape around just anywhere. If you're listening to this, it's because one of my boys thinks he can trust you. If he's wrong, you're dead. If he's right, you're gonna be rich. Got us a plan, see? We hit the water mules with the Brotherhood busy fighting the Enclave. Soon they'll want to give up the whole delivery thing. Then we offer our protection services. Wasteland dangerous and all. We charge them steep. On top of it, we sell the water to whoever we want. If you want in, ride out with the next ambush. Stash the water when it's done, the regulars will show you where. And then get up to Grandma Sparkles. Grandma loves visitors and keeps her mouth shut. That, she cooks a mean stew. So that's where we meet. Wilhelm's Wharf. It's on the river. Don't get lost. <laughs> oh, and memorize the passphrase. It's Meyerlert Stew. If you forget it, don't bother coming round. You'll get shot. No kidding. Hmm. Some opportunistic bandits, eh? Want to, uh, take over the delivery trade. Well, I think we have to put a stop to those bastards. To do so, though, we'll have to actually be able to walk there. Look at this crap. The Probably got a lot of junk from that raider. And eh, not... But from the scavenger, not the raider. I'm gonna drop all this crap. Okay. At least we can walk. Now, I think Wilhelm's Wolf, we actually already went there once, I think. Um, yeah, we got it unlocked. So, what we're gonna do is we're, hi we're gonna hide. And we're gonna stealth fast travel there. And see if we can't, you know, infiltrate this bandit group somehow. Whoa. I think there are some... Yeah, there's some fighting going on over there. Not our concern. Looks like this is the gang, yeah. Bandit. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? You know, on, on women, the helmet looks much cooler. Look at that. really like the metal helmet on, on the... The way it looks on her. But look at this one. It, I don't know. I hate it. Huh. Unfair, if you ask me. Unfair. I want that helmet. Get out of... Another new recruit? Quit bothering me. Talk to the boss. Split Jack. Right. Another new recruit? Quit bothering me. Talk to the boss. Split Jack. Right. Also money. Uh, what are you looking at? Another new recruit? Oh, come on. Quit bothering me. Talk to the boss, Split Jack. Right. What? Clipboard. This must be him. Split Jack, and that, of course, is Grandma Sparkle. Lurks ain't got you yet, I see. You need some trading? 
You... I can't even ask you about housing a bandit gang. Okay, gotta go. We'll see you real soon. I'm sure. Okay, time to talk to we'll Splitjack. What? Get out of my face, man. Get out of my... <laughs> You're one of the new recruits, huh? And look at that. Already wearing the gang uniform. If you can call it a uniform. You know the passphrase, though. But you're dead. Of course I know it. It's Myalog Stew. Open sesame. Uh, eye patch. Or... No, no. Myalog Stew. Okay. You're lucky you knew that. Don't know who let you in. Don't really care. Right. This is a real simple gang. Whoever's the toughest sets the rules. And that's me. And I got just one rule. Do what the hell I say when I say it. Now find a seat. We're waiting for some of the boys to get back. Probably the ones that uh, that we just killed, you know. The the two bandits. Um, you know, this isn't a very huge gang. I guess we could take them all down if we had to. Let's talk to Jack again. What is it? Take a seat and relax already. You're making me nervous. Hmm. <laughs> we can challenge him to a duel. What's the score, though? I, I want to learn more about your plan first. No one told you? It's simple. We hit water caravans and stashed the Aqua Pura. And after Rivet City's had enough, we offer our Wasteland Protection Services. Scummy, yes. Then we control the water. And we charge whoever, whatever, we want for it. How do you like that? Hmm. They're not going to pay you to protect something they're giving away for free. That actually makes a lot of sense. Let's try that. What? Well, damn it. You're probably right. What the hell was I thinking? Guess I'll have to come up with another plan. Come on, boys. Now we're sticking around here. Let's go blow off some steam. Kill anything or anyone you like. What the hell? No way. Hey, here. They're attacking Grandma Sparkles. These people need to be stopped. They're completely, completely off their rocker. That they, they'll kill anybody. Well, what do you think you're doing? Keep firing. I'm taking you down, of course. Dirty cow. Over here. Dirty coward? You're calling me a coward? After you just attacked a completely helpless old lady. Scum. I hope she's alright. So much for this freaking bandit gang. At least she has a plasma pistol, that's kinda nice. Alright, we gotta we gotta check and see if she's okay. She certainly got shot, but maybe she just got wounded. Wait, okay, I'm, I'm gonna hide when I go inside. Oh, she went outside again. She seems okay. Lurks ain't got you yet, I see. You need some trading? Uh, okay, let's trade. I was good to hear. Let's see what you got. I think you may need some stim packs. Why don't I sell you a stim pack? I think you may need some help here. Oops. Yeah. Best use it. You watch out for Gwai. They're all over. Right. Yeah, they they brought her half to dead. See that? Good thing they're all dead now, because they would have just... They would have been like raiders, walking around and killing everybody they see. Split check, you're complete and utter scum. But we already knew that, didn't we? Right, I guess we can at least loot these jokers and... Uh, I don't know. Unless there are more of them out there. Um, the Rivet City... Caravans should be okay from now on, at least from the more organized raids. Right. So you can also um, challenge him to a fight and try to take over the the gang, but it doesn't really work out the way you would hope it would. Instead, they just, you know, <laughs> let's drop this crap. 
Instead, they just uh, want you to deliver the uh, the offer to to uh, you know blackmail Rivet City. So the only way to stop them really is to I think take them out. I may be wrong there though, but I think that's how it goes. Right, some chunks floating in the river. That's always very pleasant. Um, right, I already got that to maximum. Didn't get that to maximum yet. And this is already at maximum too. Okay. Great. Um, yeah, not the best way to solve this issue, I guess. But uh, Grandma Sparkles is alright. Or at least she's alive. That's something. And uh, the bandits are dead. So let's let's return to Le Pelletier, or however you pronounce that. Oh, hold on. Rivet City. There you go. Right. Oh, hold on. Do I have Aqua Pura on me now? I, I would think I do. I do. Yes, plenty. Here you go, man. You've helped me so much. Yeah, I have some aqua pura for you. You, you, I, I can just. Of course, man. Really. I already gave you like three bottles in the past. Shouldn't be so surprising that I would give you another one now. Anyway. Yes. Let's talk to her then. Well, did you take care of whoever's behind the attacks on the caravans? You could say that. A uh, guy named Split Jack, not too very. He's dead now. And his gang, or at least all that were there at the time. Really? Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. As soon as I have a moment, I'll make arrangements to see to your reward. Okay, what do you mean with arrangements? Yes, well, uh, I don't really have anything I can give you at the moment. What? I've simply, uh, run out of resources. Only a quarter of my escorts have made it back. I fear the worst. I'll send word to Bigsley, the Brotherhood scribe running things over at Project Purity. I'm sure the Brotherhood can reward you for your efforts. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me... Right, Bigsley will be so happy to hear about that. <laughs> ah, but I guess I don't mind. I didn't really do it for the, uh, for the reward so much anyway. I'm looking for troublemakers, have you seen any? Okay. Hey. Oh, this is Crow. Hey, dude. And here you are. The spirits have blessed me with many gifts, but you have given the more marketable gift of monetary investment. You could say that. Please accept this offering. A mask and helmet made from the hide of the wisest spirits of the wind. May it benefit you as fully as it has myself. Really? I bought helmet. Okay. He called it the spirit of the wind. Anyway, yes, this is um, this is the reward we get for investing in crow's inventory. Ages ago, but we simply didn't meet him since then, did we? My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. Right. Very fancy way of just saying I sell Stay armor. Stay safe on the path you travel. I sell armor and clothes to people who need them. Hello. Anyway, let's check out this iBot helmet. Crow's iBot helmet. Ooh. Okay. What's so special about it? Oh, look at that. It has, like, flames on it and all that. It looks really weird. Good to see you. This is a kind of a bizarre helmet. But it's unique. So it has to be good, I think. Right, folks. Um, we're gonna end this episode here. We just have to drop something, I fear. We're gonna end this episode here, and in the next one, we will try and help the whole water delivery stuff with one of the other urgent matters. Maybe the one in Megaton, actually. That is very close to home now. Um, but at least the uh, Rivet City caravans should now be able to move more freely through the wasteland and deliver their very important and valuable goods. So, 
See you next time, folks, when we return to Megaton. Also, this water is also still irradiated. Where exactly are you getting that clean water from? Maybe it's just the water right next to Project Purity? I don't know. Um, you know what? We're gonna test this. This is the last thing we'll do in this episode. I just want to see whether there is actual clean water here. This is not clean, okay? There is a... There's like a grate connecting this water to the water on this side, I'm guessing. Oh. Okay, that was random. Is this water clean? Ah, yes. This is the clean water. And the dead myologs. Okay, then. Mmm. Tastes like myolog. Well, see you next time, folks. Bye.